So I'm in the beautiful uh, area of Rattling Hope with uh, Lee. Uh, how did you get started with uh, the lovely doggies then? Uh, dog agility, it, it's a bit of an, an, of an obscure one. Um, when I was 10 or 11 years old, I used to watch Crufts on TV and I was always inspired by the dogs doing agility and I was saying to my parents, let me have a go, I want to have a go. And when I was 12 years old, mum and dad finally let me get my own puppy and we went to a lady called Ruth Hobday who used to train behind the Traveller's Rest for training. And I remember my first lesson I went there, it was raining, it was cold, <laughs> and it was just generally miserable. Um, but luckily, m m the dog I got, Rory, who was just from a local farm, he really took to it, and that's, that's how we started. And we trained up, and then we were good enough to go to a show. And then over the, well, really the years to come, we got better and better, Rory went all the way from elementary level to advanced level. He took me to Crufts to compete in championship classes in the Crufts team event. He took me to Olympia where we ran in front of, I think, 8,000 people live, oh which goodness. was just immense. You know, you can't beat that feeling. So um, for a young person, it's a particularly hard sport. You know, I was 12 and through my teenage years, um, spent every Saturday training and the evenings with the dogs, going to shows every weekend, getting up at... Three, four, oh, five no. a.m. You yeah. know, and I'd, uh, you know, there were plenty of times I thought I'd much rather be going to the football and going out with the girls. You know, exactly. So, yeah. um, and you know, I, I did have to sacrifice a lot of social. You know, and I lost a fair few girlfriends through it as well. I can say that much. But um, you know, you stick to it. You know, because you know you enjoy doing it. And, and in all honesty, I can say when you when you go to the big competitions, when you go to Crufts and that, and you and you're running, the, 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 there's no better feeling. How old are you now? I'm 24 now. So you're still very young. I am, actually, yeah. And you're one of the best trainers in the country. Do you think it's because you started so young? Yeah, quite possibly. Um, with agility, experience counts for such a lot. Mm. You know, I can, I can look back on 12 years of competitive experience. I've seen a lot of changes. I've learned a lot of things. Um, but you've got things to look back on. You know, I've been to every major final in the, in the country. Luckily, you know, the dogs have, have taken me there. You travel all over Europe as well. Where have you just been? Yeah, I've just come back from a week in Denmark. Um, I was in Finland for 10 days. Just before that, I literally was, was back in the UK for three days and then jetted off again. Um, and what are you doing there? Are you competing? or? Um, I'm, I'm not, I don't take my dogs out with me when I'm conducting seminars. What I'll do is I'll go out to, to a group or to a club out there. Quite often I'll judge a, sh a show for them. They've got their regular competition and I'll judge it for them. And then... Uh, I'll conduct seminars and training groups for the um, participants of the club uh, for the next few days, just helping them with, with things that they might find difficult, things that we do in England perhaps better than they do. And like I said it's non-stop. I'm off to Norway on uh, at the end of this week. But you're loving it, right? I am. I am absolutely loving it, yeah. I've... Um you know, seeing seeing the world or seeing parts of Europe um, through your kind of work and your hobby is, is fantastic, you know. And the thing is, you meet such such great people as well. Um, I was in Finland recently. We went up to Olu in the north. They had me in a Finnish sauna at the end of the week. Lo and behold, we were in there. I was sweating, you know. I was like, jump out. Let's push Lee in the river, you know. And that's what they do, you know. So, of course, you went from 80 degrees down to about minus two. It was horrible. <laughs> but that, that's traditional for them, you know. And they're like, yeah, get the Englishman wet, so... <laughs> Do you have many people come to you for private lessons then? Yeah, um, I'm very lucky now to have quite a, I call it a following, but, um, you, you know, you are only kind of, I never take it for granted, you know, and you keep working hard with the people. Uh, you right. seem to have pretty much achieved everything competitively. Where do you want to go? Um, there's, um, there's one thing I still want to do, and that is to compete at the World Championships um, for Dog Agility, which is run under... Uh, FCI rules, it's the governing body for the world. Britain runs under a different rule system because we're just so big we can't uh, fit into their three class classification. So I'm hoping to compete at th that competition. This is your life now, isn't it? It is, yeah, it's really taken over. Um, I always said I'd never let my hobby become my, my lifestyle because I do think you need to be able to, to separate and switch off. Yeah, but everybody, if everybody could have their hobby as their job, yes. wouldn't that be the best thing? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, I, I still say I'm very lucky to be doing what I'm doing. Um, and, yeah, you know, f for the early mornings and that, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't swap it for anything.
What we've got here is a full set of agility equipment. We've got various obstacles, and I think I'll take you through them now so we know what to do on each one. Okay. okay. You've got regular hurdle jumps. Okay. This is a wall obstacle. A bit more heavier. You don't want to run into up. that. Yeah. Uh, I've seen a few handlers run into the wall as well. Oh, so, yeah. yeah, so just be warned of that one. Um, pipe tunnel, which the dog goes, goes through. The contact points. This is the only moving piece of equipment in agility, which is called the seesaw. Which For will, obvious reasons. Yeah, to go from one end, they obviously go up it one way uh, and tip it and then onto the other end. Long jump, that's another type of uh, jump, which they have to jump. We've got the contact pieces here, the A-frame and the dog walk. Now, you'll notice the white markings at the bottom. Yes. Okay, the white markings indicate the contact point, the actual point of which the dog has to place a paw or part of a paw on. Oh, so it can't skip the white and exactly. jump to the green. Exactly, yeah, right. that, that's what we look for, and that's what a judge will be looking for in a competition. We've got over here um, what's called the flat or cloth tunnel. The dogs can only go through it one way, and they push their way through. And the weaving poles, which we've got 12 here, that's a full set of weaves. There's lots of places you can get faults on an agility course. Um, Obviously the poles coming down, but the contact points, the wheeze, and also the course itself for taking the correct course as it's numbered. Come on then, let's. Uh, yeah. Let you you can send Che around first. Yeah. Well, Show me what to do. Come on then, Che. Che Che. Ready. Come in. Lay down. Wait. Oh my goodness me, he's weaving in and out the poles like you would not believe. <laughs> Goodness me. <laughs> this dog is having so much fun you would not believe. Yay, that's fantastic. Good boy. Right. Now what's clear there is he's having so much fun. fun. He, he loves absolutely it. loves it, yeah. And you know, he's, like, he's had enough now, I want to go. He wants to go back to his little watching post up there. Right, now it's over to you, Claire. So, oh joy. To give it a go. So Right. Like I said, first thing is first, if you get him, get him with you and get him motivated. He's called Che, just have a bit of a play with him now, and then when you want to get ready to do it, just say, ready, ready, and wait. Okay, and then he'll drop into his start position. Che! Come on, come on. Here, here. Here. What's this? What's this? What's this? Down. Wait. Ready. Go. Come on. Wait, 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 wait. Doing really well. Oh! That's it, home straight now. Walk on. Go. Oh, well done. Yeah. <laughs> and he's having a good time now. <laughs> Well done, Claire. You love that. His tail's wagging. <laughs> I'm knackered. Yeah, it's, uh, it certainly keeps you fit, this sport. <laughs> he did really, really well then. And he re he's enjoyed that. Look at him tug. Oh, That's geez. brilliant. Oh, hey, Che, was that fun? Was that fun? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Claire. Oh, dear. That's a very good effort for your first time. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're a natural. I think <laughs> something to think about there. <laughs>